is the Meadowview Bloods, a gang that has been active since the 80s and one of the most prominent gangs in Sacramento for decades. The Meadowview Bloods claim two main cliques, 6900 and 665, and have numerous younger cliques under that umbrella. Meadowview was already known in the Sac streets, but by 2018, Meadowview would start to gain buzz on several rappers putting on for the area and starting to get noticed around the world. Meadowview had rappers like G-Man, who was doing millions of views, and he even did a collab tape with now deceased rapper, Briss. But you also had a lot of other rappers from Meadowview, like 10 Letter Gang J and 10 Letter Gang Trap. Now, 10 Letter Gang Trap would start making noise around 2019. He would collab on a few songs with other rappers from his hood, but he got a local buzz with the song from the 10, which sits at over 400k views. Trap before rap was in the streets and did a bit in jail. So he started rapping once he got out and started gaining a local buzz. Trap became a known face, but not too long after his local fame started coming, two things would come out to tarnish his name in the streets. First off, let's get into his snitch allegations. Now word on the streets was that Trap real name, Tegan Scott, was a snitch after an incident happened over alleged robbery. So off this paperwork I'm about to present to you, you let me know if he a snitch or not. Now from this paperwork, you can see the whole time, Trap keeps pleading his innocence, saying he didn't do anything, and the crime occurred in Yuba City, which is about 50 minutes to an hour away from Sac. From the paperwork, Trap says him and another man drove there because the man sells weed and was going to sell a pound to somebody. Now along off this, would y'all consider that snitching? Because everyone in the streets put rat on him after this. Make matters worse for Trap, a video I can't post because the YouTube guidelines will come out, and let's just say, Trap must have been a real fan favorite in prison because a sex tape would come out with him and his baby mama. And let's just say, man, she had that boy bent over, putting her fingers up him. And she ate the groceries. So along with snitch allegations, he was facing gay ones as well. This made Trap fade away in obscurity, and so did his career. And he would be dissed by enemy rappers from O Park. 3G would diss Trap in a song called A Live Ops where he would say Trap was gay and got his booty ate. Trap will forever go down with a bad name in the streets off this. Now the next rapper from Meta V I'm gonna talk about is 10 Letter Gang J. He wasn't necessarily getting millions of views, but some of his videos sit in the six figure range. Now he was known for his flashiness, his persona on social media, and being popular in the streets. J had been rapping for a while, but his career was plagued by several stints in jail. He rapped Meta View hard as well, and often collabed with a lot of rappers from the area. He would be doing jail stints for gun possessions and intent to sell them, but he always somehow got out, and Jay always somehow always got out fast, even though some of the cases he was facing was fed cases. So it would be a lot of speculation over the years that 10 Letter J, real name James Sykes, was a snitch, but with him catching another case, it was later brought to light. 10 Letter J was an informant, and from this paperwork, you can see it said James was a confidential informant for the ATF and was cooperating for leniency on his cases. Now, 10 Letter J is now currently in jail right now, but you can say his career is over in the streets and maybe his rap career is over after this as well. Now, the last rapper from South Sac and Meta View I'm gonna talk about is 10 Letter Gang Raider. Now, Raider will blow up with the song from 2018, Wiggle Through Your Section, which currently sits at 3 million views. He would drop a few other songs, but none would do the same numbers as Wiggle Through Your Section and him going to jail several times, he wasn't able to reach the same level as he was going to. Raider would do a lot of stints in jail, and even getting out of jail, of all places, he would be stabbed at a water park. The Roseville Police Department says the search is on for a suspect after a man was taken to the hospital following a stabbing at the Sunsplash Water Park on Taylor Road in Roseville. Roseville Police said a call came in of an assault around 7 o'clock yesterday evening. Officials say an adult male victim was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Anyone with information is asked to call the Roseville Police Department at 916. Even Raider's little brother, Little Raider, will get snitch allegations and will go under the radar. Once released after another stint in jail, Raider will drop a diss song called Raider Free, where he would diss the Heights, which is a North Sac gang, which South Sac gangs were once cool with, but some of the gangs got tension now with each other. Now after this, popular Heights rapper D. Steez will respond to his own song called Campaign Steez, 72 hours, which he would go at Raider hard and expose him, calling him a snitch and dropping Raider's paperwork. In his paperwork, Raider's real name, Rasheed Reed, would say that a man named Jeremiah robbed a person and Raider would say he was telling him to stop the whole time. So clearly off this, you can see Raider snitch. 
He was a juvenile in this case, but he was in the streets, so that's still snitching. Reddit still denies snitching, but as you can see, it's clear that he did it. Now that's all I'm gonna mention.